Namaste everyone, welcome to the podcast of uh, Yoga and Lifestyle Medicine. Hope to find you well today. So today I'm going to talk about hypothyroidism. Many women are concerned with thyroid imbalances and in particular hypo. I will cover topics such as the symptoms, your home remedies, diet and how to manage gain weight, exercises and some more. What is the cause of this imbalance? Hypothyroidism is caused due to low thyroid hormones in the bloodstream. This happens because the thyroid gland do not produce sufficient thyroid hormones. It is slowing the metabolism and can lead to various symptoms. What are those symptoms? Symptoms depend on of deficiencies, severity of thyroid hormones and var vary uh, according to a person. Hypothyroidism develops slowly over many years of time. At the beginning key, symptoms of low thyroid function such as weight gain, fatigue, can be experienced. After some time, gradually the metabolism starts to get low and the other symptoms can be developed with time, like fatigue, weight gain, increased sensitivity to cold, dry skin, puffy face, weakness in the muscles, muscle ache, tenderness and stiffness, pain or swelling in the joint. You can uh, feel also constipation, hoarseness of voice, thinning of hairs, slow heart rate, ele elevated levels of blood cholesterol, enlarged thyroid glands like goiter, irregular or heavy menstrual period, depression, impaired memory. So all those symptoms, uh, this is what you can feel in case of hypothyroidism and some people are more prone to develop these. Uh, like a woman or also during pregnancy or six months after delivery after 60 years old familial uh, history also of thyroid disease suffering from an autoimmune uh, disease such as celiac disease or type 1 diabetes mellitus undergone thyroid surgery but all of that is not um, you can I mean really uh, go over it uh, with home remedies and lifestyle changes. So for sure home remedies are good to maintain and can help the treatment of hypothyroidism but are not enough. All the home remedies and lifestyle indicated below will help to improve and balance thyroid functions but other ratsayana are necessary to treat uh, hypothyroidism. You can also plan your diet like um, Uh, creating a diet with uh, a low fat, a good balance of fruit, vegetables, dairy, whole grains and lean protein. Reduce the amount of carbohydrate in your diet but completely avoiding carbohydrate is not also recommended. Reduce the amount of salt intake, ideally less than 2-3 grams per day. Rock salt is a better uh, option uh, and a better replacement to table salt because it is uh, rich in minerals. Balance and wholesome diet, choose uh, uh, food fresh and not preserved, processed or canned. Uh, you can also, you can, you have <laughs> to eat warm and freshly homemade meals with natural ingredients as much as you can and don't use hydrogenated oil, vegetable oils, artificial colors and flavors or white flour. Uh, instead, uh, use sesame oil for cooking. It helps to burn fat and nourishing deeply the tissue. You can also use ghee and uh, make it uh, at home. Coconut oil uh, is also good if you live in a hot climate because coconut is a coolant effect. Eat vegetables foods and all grains, they reduce effects of hypothyroidism and boost up immunity. Don't use soy products and soy beans, they aggravate uh, hypothyroidism symptoms because they contain goitrogenic compounds that interfere with the level of thyroid hormones. Use essential oil and fatty acids like fish oils which are good source of omega-3, they promote Production of thyroid hormones, immunity, and answers, and also anti-inflammatory. Use also natural fats that help uh, maintaining hormonal balance like flax seeds, walnuts, avocado, fish, 
and you should avoid all caffeine, sugar and starchy foods. Starchy foods reduce metabolism and increase adverse effect of hypothyroidism. You can increase protein in your meal. Proteins reduce production of thyroid hormones by regulating the thyroid functions. For that, nuts, green vegetables, legumes, eggs and meat are rich in protein and help in combating hypothyroidism symptoms. You can also consume food with selenium like eggs, legumes, tuna, turkey, uh, because selenium is uh, in the body is reduced uh, in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Selenium uh, supplements show its role to balance uh, tyroxin T4 levels and forget sugar and all processed foods. As already mentioned in many of my articles, it increases inflammation in the body and slow down the conversion of T4 into T3. Then it is wise to have a sugar-free diet. Avoid gluten because many people with thyroid disease also have celiac disease and in celiac disease gluten triggers an immune response in the small intestines. When sweet and other gluten rich foods are removed from the diet, people with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto thyroiditis start feeling better. Gluten free grains and seeds like rice, flaxseed, chai seed, buckwheat, etc. are also very good to consume. A low activity of thyroid can be due to low iodine in your diet. Have more of seafood, seaweed, egg, shrimp, cheese and don't use artificial iodine, always use natural salt. You can also include probiotics, they can improve metabolism and digestion and a bad digestion and low levels of good bacteria can reduce thyroid hormone production. Have more of buttermilk, yogurt, fermented vegetable, pickles, kefir, sauerkraut, miso, and you know an ultra gastrointestinal motility is commonly seen with hypothyroidism and can cause diarrhea. Probiotics can bring helpful bacteria to balance the microbiote. You can use apple cider vinegar, useful to reduce body weight, improve fat and carbohydrate metabolism, and to balance alkaline acid balance in the body. Apple cider also balance cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood pressure. You can take one teaspoon full of apple cider vinegar and honey mixed in warm water will help in improving thyroid activity and control symptoms of hypothyroidism when consumed. Think also to do regular ex exercise uh, through a 30 minutes exercise. Few thyroid related symptoms like fatigue, loss of appetite and osteoporosis can be found. A level of high estrog estrogen can cause hypothyroidism in women and birth control pills, dairy products and consumption of large amount of meat may imbalance estrogen levels and deplete thyroid hormone production. This food should be avoided to maintain balance of thyroid hormone in the body. And low thyroid hormones can affect absorption of vitamin B, especially B12 and B1. Vitamin B2 is B12, sorry, is helpful to prevent the tiredness related to thyroid disease. To increase these vitamins, you can add re regularly in your diet peas, beans, sesame seeds, uh, sesame seeds, cheese, eggs, asparagus. Zinc also regulate TSH as per some studies. Hypothyroidism patients should consume zinc rich foods like beans, nuts, crab, lobster, whole grains, breakfast cereals and dairy products. But dairy products uh, should be uh, limited. You also find this in avocados, blackberries, pomegranates, raspberries, guavas, cantaloupes, apricots, peaches, kiwi fruit and blueberries. Diet is one of the most important things but it will not cure hypothyroidism. It will help to recover and you have uh, to be careful uh, to what you eat to uh, regulate uh, your 
hormones and, and, and helping in that. A combination of right nutrients and medication can help to restore thyroid function and minimize your uh, symptoms. Talking about diets, there is uh, some food you have to avoid. We call that food goitrogens because it can interfere with normal function of thyroid gland and I will give you some common examples. So you should avoid regularly vegetables like cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, spinach, fruits and starchy plants like sweet potatoes, manioc, strawberries, uh, some special nuts and seeds uh, like millet, pine nuts, peanuts, soy foods, tofu, tempeh, uh, coffee, green tea and alcohol. And food that contain goitrogen have to be eaten with moderation and ideally cooked because they are rich in calories and with hypothyroidism you may easily gain weight. Also too much fiber can interfere with absorption of thyroid medicines. 25 grams and 38 grams respectively, respectively are the recommended doses of fiber for women and men respectively. But don't stop entirely there consumption it is found in healthy foods like fruit vegetables beans and whole grain breads and cereals iron and calcium um, are also uh, important uh, to uh, bring in the body but don't uh, use them in supplement because these minerals interfere with absorption of thyroid hormone med medicine and talk uh, with your doctor if it is the case. The lack of vitamin B12 and vitamin D is found in cases of autoimmune hypothyroidism. Missing vitamin D is directly linked with depression because of lack of sun exposure and long winters level of vitamin D is low. So check your level with uh, blood test. So with apo hypothyroidism metabolism is slow and lead to gain weight. So you have to keep a track on your weight and keep balance. You can use um, trifalachurna and other guru based medication that can be useful to address obesity and also help with depression indirectly. Exercising every day is also indicated. No, de no need to do long work out like uh, 20 or uh, 30 minutes are efficient and enough for the body and balance the weight. And who suffer from hypothyroidism sleep less and so can increase stress, anxiety and depression. Herbs uh, which are very useful and can be prescribed like <clears throat> are uh, ashwagandha, sarpaganda, brahmi, tagara and uh, so much more so plan your meal and eat with mindfulness also of how fast you eat where you eat is very important um, to help your body to digest and uh, to assimilate everything you are eating if you are eating in a hurry if you are stressed the digestion will be perturbated and um, will um, with the time develop some uh, problems so try to sleep uh, at least seven to eight hours every night and when you sleep less you are likely to gain fat mainly around the belly my advice is to practice yoga and meditation to help um, all the process uh, to go better and uh, research works through that yoga and meditation are helpful in maintaining healthy weight therefore then it uh, to be practiced regularly, to be efficient and with experienced uh, yoga teacher to show you how to practice efficiently. There are many ways to handle hypothyroidism. It depends on your life history, the symptoms you feel, the level of your thyroid hormones. That is why it is important to check with your doctor or Ayurvedic uh, practitioner all these recommendations, which cannot be picked perfect for every, everyone or for your uh, specific condition. 
So I can give you also some yoga posture for hypothyroidism, which are very uh, helpful. Um, so you have uh, this posture that uh, we call uh, Sarvangasana. Uh, this is shoulder stand, but it has uh, to be learned with um, experienced yoga teacher. A uh, simple other one is uh, Viparita Karani, uh, Asana, uh, inverted uh, pose uh, on the back. You have also Jarnu Sisasana, seated head to knee pose, Matsyasana, which is uh, commonly called a fish pose, Alasana, plov pose, Majari Asana, Katko stretch, uh, Surya Namaskar or Sun Salutation are also really helpful to move the energy inside the body, to open the body and the muscle and uh, for uh, eliminate, el eliminate the toxin in the body. You can find the um, all these um, specific asanas uh, in my article on my blog uh, to know how to practice uh, the postures at home and why you have to do it. And apart from yoga asana, the practice of dynamic breathing ex exercises like Kalpalbati, Ujjayi Pranayama, Basrika, Nadi Shodana, Pranayama will help restore balance and regulate thyroid glands. You can find many uh, uh, science study which has been done on pranayama effects for uh, many symptoms or many uh, diseases to improve um, the health and uh, in this case thyroid's level. In Ayurveda, in, in this aspect, no disease explained in Ayurveda can be directly correlated with hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism should be understood on the basis of vitiation of doshas, tissues and channels involved in pathogenesis of the disease and also its predominant symptoms as understood from Ayurveda perspective. In Ayurveda, um, we talk about this concept um, called Agnimandya. As Master Vagbata has said, almost all the diseases are caused due to Mandi Agni, means a low digestive fire, especially the abdominal diseases. Mandi Agni also denotes weaker metabolism. And hypothyroidism is also related to low metabolism, in fact a cause of it. It is a resultant of hypothyroidism. Treating weak digestive fire in hypothyroidism and kindling the same might catch the disease by its own. This will also disable the continuation of pathogenesis and worsening the symptoms of the disease. That's why I was talking about diet, because you will improve your agni, your uh, digestive fire by your diet and your lifestyle of course also. Balanced digestive capacity also means proper digestion, conversion, distribution and utilization of food and nutrients. This also reflects proper conversion of food into energy, the channels of nutrition getting open and clear as an impact of digestive on tissues fires and eventual nourishment of the tissues. I hope this article will help you to understand that more you take care of yourself, more imbalances and diseases are far to get you. So I hope you understand that in Ayurveda and Yoga we try to bring a um, better lifestyle to um, live proper life, live happy life. And this is with our um, attitude, our um, mind and also what is the first medicine is our diet. So. I invite you to bring awareness in all that point to be more balanced and um, to feel less symptoms and avoid any disease. You will also find all my podcasts on my YouTube channel and all articles um, in my blog Yoga and Lifestyle Men Medicine. You can also join me for a retreat in uh, India to learn how to become autonomous in your health, learn about nutrition, gestures and behaviors that are good for you, healing methods, 
discover a country and its tradition and many other things to stay healthy and ill and you will be after of course able to practice alone at home all that good tips to stay healthy and of course you bring all this knowledge like i said back home and you can share also with your family i wish you a wonderful day and please take care of yourself oh